The door is jammed shut with vines. This is the barrier. This is what keeps us all trapped underground. If... If by chance you have any unfinished business, please do what you must. I see. This is it, then. Ready? Light fills the room. Twilight is shining through the barrier. It seems your journey is finally over. You're filled with determination. Human. It was nice to meet you. Goodbye. What a miserable creature, torturing such a poor, innocent youth. Do not be afraid, my child. It is I, Toriel, your friend and guardian. At first, I thought I would let you make your journey alone, but I could not stop worrying about you. Your adventure must have been so treacherous, and ultimately, it would burden you with a horrible choice. To leave this place, you would have to take the life of another person. You would have to defeat Asgore. However, I realized I cannot allow that. It's not right to sacrifice someone simply to let someone leave here. Is that not what I've been trying to prevent this whole time? So, for now, let us suspend this battle. As terrible as Asgore is, he deserves mercy too. Uh, Tori, you came back. Do not Tory me, dreamer. You pathetic whelp. If you really wanted to free our kind, you could have gone through the barrier after you got one soul. Taken six souls from the humans, then come back and freed everyone peacefully. But instead, you made everyone live in despair. Because you would rather wait here, meekly hoping another human never comes. Tori. You're right. I'm a miserable creature. But do you think we can at least be friends again? No, Asgore. Yeah, Asgore, human! Nobody fight each other! Everyone's gonna make friends, or else I'll. I'll. Hello, I'm Toriel. Are you the human's friend? It's nice to meet you. Uh, yeah. Nice to meet you. Hey, Asgore, is that your ex? Jeez, that's rough, buddy. Uh, hey! Nobody hurt each other! Oh, are you another friend? I'm Toriel. Hello. Ah, uh, hi. There's two of them? Hey! Nobody fight anyone! If anyone fights anyone, then I'll be forced to ask Undyne for help. Hello? Oh, hello, your majesty. Psst. Hey, human. Did Asgore shave? And 
clone himself? <laughs> hey guys, what's up? A voice. Hello, I think we may know each other? <laughs> oh hey, I recognize your voice too. I'm Toriel. So nice to meet you. <laughs> Name Sans. And uh, same. Oh, wait, then... This must be your brother, Papyrus! Greetings, Papyrus. It's so nice to finally meet you. Your brother has told me so much about you. Wowie! I can't believe Asgore's clone knows who I am! This is the best day of my life! Hey, Papyrus, what does a skeleton tile his roof with? Hmm, snowproof roof tiles? No, silly. A skeleton tiles his roof with shingles. I changed my mind. This is the worst day of my life. Come on, Asgore. It's going to be okay. There are plenty of fish in the sea. Y yeah, Asgore. Undyne's totally right about the fish thing. S sometimes you just gotta stop going after furry boss monsters and uh, just get to know a really cute fish. It's a metaphor. Well, I think it's a good analogy. Oh my god! Will you two just smooch already? The audience is dying for some romantic action! Hey, shut up! Man, the nerve of that guy! Right, Alphys? Uh, Alphys? No! He's right! Let's do it! Well, uh, I guess if you want to, then... Don't hold anything back! Wait! Not in front of the human. Uh, right. Sorry, I got a little carried away there. <laughs> My child, it seems as if you must stay here for a while. But looking at all the great friends you made... I think... I think you'll be happy here. Hey, that reminds me. Papyrus, you called everyone here, right? Well, besides, uh, her. Uh, anyway, if I got here before you, how did you know how to call everybody? <laughs> Let's just say, a tiny flower helped me. A tiny flower? You idiots! While you guys were having your little powwow, I took the human souls! And now, not only are those under my power, but all your friend souls are gonna be mine too! <laughs> and you know what the best part is? It's all your fault. It's all because you made them love you! All that time you spent listening to them, encouraging them, caring about them. Without that, they wouldn't have come here. And now, with their souls and the humans together, I will achieve my real form. Hee <laughs> Huh? Why am I still doing this? Don't you get it? This is all just a game. If you leave the underground satisfied, you'll win the game. If you win, you won't want to play with me anymore. And what would I do then? But this game, between us, will never end. I'll hold victory in front of you, just within reach. And then tear it away just before you grasp it over and over and over <laughs> listen if you do defeat me I'll give you your happy ending I'll bring your friends back I'll destroy the barrier everyone will finally be satisfied but that won't happen you! I'll keep you here no matter what!
Jesus. If it means killing you a million times. <laughs> What? Do not be afraid, my child. No matter what happens, we will always be there to protect you. That's right, human! You can win! Just do what I would do! Believe in you! Hey, human, if you got past me, you could do anything! So don't worry, we're with you all the way! Huh? You just haven't beaten this guy yet? Come on, this weirdo's got nothing on you. Technically, it's impossible for you to beat him. But somehow, I know you can do it. Human, for the future of humans and monsters, you have to stay determined. Oh, we're with you. Come on, you got this. You got this. You can do it. Ah, no. Unbelievable. This can't be happening. You. You. I can't believe you're all so stupid. All of your souls are mine. Finally, I was so tired of being a flower. Howdy, Kara, are you there? It's me, your best friend. It's the end. You held on to your hopes. You reduced how much damage you'll take this turn. It's the end. You kept holding on, damage reduced. The astronaut food, your HP was maxed out. After I defeat you and gain total control over the timeline, I just want to reset everything. All your progress. Everyone's memories. I'll bring them all back to zero. We kept holding on, damage reduced. Then we can do everything all over again.
And you know what the best part of all this is? You'll do it. An illustration of a hug, your HP was maxed out. And then you'll lose to me again. And again. And again. Want a happy ending. Because you love your friends. Because you never give up. Darn it. But it refused. I don't know why this that attack is giving me so much trouble this time around.
Maybe I'm just tired. Made it. Isn't that delicious? Your determination, the power that let you get this far, it's going to be your downfall. Now, enough messing around. It's time to perch this timeline once and for all. Even after that attack, you're still standing in my way. Wow, you really are something special. But don't get cocky. Up until now, I've only been using a fraction of my real power. Let's see what good your determination is against this. So, at this point, you're probably gonna die. But that's okay because your determination to keep you going. Can't move your body. <laughs> Behold my true power! I can feel it. Every time you die, your grip on this world slips away. Every time you die, your friends forget you a little more. Your life will end here in a world where no one remembers you. Still, you're hanging on? That's fine. In a few moments, you'll forget everything too. That attitude will serve you well in your next life. Move your body. <laughs> Still? Come on. Show me what good your determination is now. Can't move your body. Nothing happened. You struggle. Nothing happened. You tried to reach your save file. Nothing happened. You tried again to reach your save file. Nothing happened. Seems saving the game really is impossible. But maybe with what little power you have, you can save something else. You reach out to Asriel's soul and call out to your friends. They're in there somewhere, aren't they? In the depths of Azrael's soul, something's resonating. The lost soul appeared. So, basically, almost any of these will work at this point. You just need to kind of keep going. You tap the lost soul lightly. Something about the way you fight is familiar to her. All humans will die! You ask the lost soul to teach you how to cook. She doesn't know why, but she kind of wants to teach you how. You're our real enemy! You gave the lost soul a big smile like you remember she likes to do. Suddenly, the memories are flooding back. 
Well, some humans are okay, I guess. In the depths of Asriel's soul, something's resonating. You tell the lost soul that you'll continue to support her. Something about the way you said that is familiar to her. You hate me, don't you? You ask the lost soul what her favorite cartoon is. She can barely hold back from giving you an enormous answer. I've got to keep lying. Lost Soul stands there. You ask the Lost Soul for help on a quiz question. Suddenly, memories are flooding back. No, that's not true! My friends like me and I like you too! Within the depths of Azriel's soul, something's resonating. The lost souls appear. You ask the lost soul to cook something for you. The lost soul is trying to hide its joy. I must capture a human! Just give up, I did. You told the Lost Soul a bad pun about skeletons. He seems to love it, but the other Lost Soul seems to hate it. Then, everyone will! Why even try? You ask the Lost Soul for help with a puzzle. He doesn't know why, but he really wants to help you. Never see him again. You ask the lost soul to take a break from fighting with you. It nods its head solemnly. Seems like it will. No, wait! You're my friend! I could never capture you! Nah, kid, I'm rooting for you, kid. In the depths of Azriel's soul, something's resonating. A lost soul's appear. You hug the lost soul and tell her that you're going to see her again. Something about this is so familiar to her. This is for your own good. Forgive me for this. You tell the lost soul that you're going to save everyone. Something stirs deep within him. No one will ever leave again. This is my duty. You tell the lost soul your preference for butterscotch instead of cinnamon. Somehow, she faintly recalls hearing this before. Tell the lost soul you won't hurt him, no matter what. Suddenly, the memories are flooding back. Your fate is up to you now. You are our future. You feel your friend's souls resonating with an Azrael. Strangely, as your friends remember you, something else begins resonating within the soul stronger and stronger. It seems there's still one last person that needs to be saved. But who? Suddenly, you realize. You reach out and call their name. Huh? What are you doing? Thank you. 
What did you do? What's this feeling? What's happening to me? No, no! I don't need anyone! Stop it! Get away from me! Do you hear me? I'll tear you apart! Kara, do you know why I'm doing this? Why I keep fighting to keep you around? doing this because you're special, Kara. You're the only one that understands me. You're the only one who's any fun to play with anymore. No. That's not just it. I, I, I'm doing this because I care about you, Kara. I care about you more than anybody else. I'm not ready for this to end. I'm not ready for you to leave. I'm not ready to say goodbye to someone like you again. So please, stop doing this and just let me win! Stop it! Stop it now! Kara. I'm so alone, Kara. I'm so afraid, Kara. Kara, I... I... I'm so sorry. I always was a crybaby, wasn't I, Kara? I know. You're not actually Kara, are you? Kara's been gone for a long time. Um, what? What is your name? Frisk? That's a nice name. Frisk, I haven't felt like this for a long time. As a flower, I was soulless. I lacked the power to love other people. However, with everyone's souls inside me, I not only have my own compassion back, but I can feel every other monster's as well. They all care about each other so much. And they care about you too, Frisk. I wish I could tell you how everyone feels about you. Papyrus, Sans, Undyne, Alphys, Toriel. Monsters are weird. Even though they barely know you, it feels like they all really love you. <laughs> Frisk, I... I understand if you can't forgive me. I understand if you hate me. I acted so strange and horrible. I hurt you. I hurt so many people. Friends, family, bystanders. There's no excuse for what I've done. What? Frisk, come on. You're... you're gonna make me cry again. Besides, even if you do forgive me, I can't keep these souls inside of me. The least I can do is return them. But first, there's something I have to do. Right now, I can feel everyone's hearts beating as one. 
They're all burning with the same desire. With everyone's power, with everyone's determination, it's time for monsters to finally go free. The barrier was destroyed. Frisk, I have to go now. Without the power of everyone's souls, I can't keep maintaining this form. In a little while, I'll turn back into a flower. I'll stop being myself. I'll stop being able to feel love again. So, Frisk, it's best if you just forget about me, okay? Just go be with the people who love you. Go. Frisk, you're... You're going to do a great job, okay? No matter what you do, everyone will be there for you, okay? Well, my time's running out. Goodbye. By the way, Frisk, take care of Mom and Dad for me, okay?